Hello everyone and welcome back to another trailer reaction of the best boys get slayers and Sif Scott. Hello. And this time we'll be reacting to the latest Dragon Ball Z The Breakers. Is that the full title of the game? Because I'm used to my Dragon Balls having infinite titles. You know, like Budokai, Tenkai, Ichi, Zenmon, <laughs> simply. They decided to go on the lighter side, so it's just Dragon Ball The Breakers, yeah. God, I guess they wanted to make people actually be able to have a good case cover rather than the cover just being nothing but writing. And just wrap around the whole box if you buy the physical edition. <laughs> yeah. So before we get started, um, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell as well, be notified next time live, and uh, yeah, let's start the let's start this trailer. Mm hmm. All right, it's a different setting. Uh, I remember the first trailer I saw was like based in like the, the cities on Earth. Yep. And now we're on the. Yep. It only requires 50 years of training if, unless you're Goku. Unless you're Goku. And Krillin. Or Yamcha. <laughs> Pretty much. But to be, to be fair, he also is one of the first ones to learn how to manipulate the direction. I forgot the Dragon Ball that is definitely, I don't think, what this is. <laughs> Collector's edition, in case anyone cared. Yeah. Okay. So, I I don't know. I mean, Dra I don't know. If Dragon Ball fans got the uh, like the the Shonen Jump itch, where if, if it slapped that label on it, they'll buy it. Um. I don't know if this is kind of a game kind of worth getting, because there's so many games that does this that fits in the space. I like mean, this is the only one that does it Dragon Ball related, but I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I feel like the 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 group horror survival kind of games are just wearing out. It's welcome. There's just too many of them, and I and I mean too many of them. A lot of them just do it successfully, like or just been out longer. Like prior, yeah. I think 13. Dead by Daylight still probably the best version of these kinds of games. Yeah, the Dead by Daylight. There's Evil Ash that came out a couple like maybe a month ago. There was, um, God, we actually had Friday at 13th. There's so many yep. of these. I mean, one, for those who've been following a lot of Dragon Ball games, I will say it is actually interesting to get something that's a different genre. But I'm yeah. still hoping we get back our turn based RPGs for Dragon Ball because they used to be all the rage back in like the Super Nintendo era. Yeah. But now we got like Dragon Ball Arena Fighters or. Dragon Ball Fighter Z, which is a really good fighting game. Please, please play if you haven't already. Um, yeah, um, it's really good. But it, it feels like all the drag, excluding this, all the Dragon Ball games are like just retellings of the first three sagas with a self-insert or customize your own fighter, a uh, kind of thing. Like the fight, like Fighter Z or Budokai Tenkai Ichi Ichi Onshin complete. I joke, but they're all. Relatively kind of the same. I'm glad this is different, but I, I scratch my head like, what if we just stop making Dragon Ball Z and just make Dragon Ball? You know, when Goku was a kid, all the way till he marries Chi Chi and fights Pink Piccolo. How about we make games about that arc? 
Who would have? I think that'd be a great arc to make games about. I mean, we had it like what the last one was like on the Wii, <laughs> Revenge of King Piccolo. Right, exactly. I I think that's like because I, like how many times can we fight Cell? How many times gotta fort Lord Frieza? I mean Lord Frieza. I'm joking. <laughs> how many times gotta see the raccoon kick? How many times gotta see the Genyu pose? How many how many cutscenes are gonna draw? You know, Captain Genyu getting frogified. You know, I, I I feel like it's just Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball games. I feel like at least the modern ones, the ones that copy Pasta, that's kind of where out's welcome. I, in my opinion. Yeah, they're kind of stuck on the Z era. I mean, they're slowly adding super stuff, but at the same time, I don't really care. I still think Dragon Ball probably has the best story and pacing of all the Dragon Ball arcs. Yeah, could you imagine if you made, like, Dragon Ball a, like, a ARPG because Goku does level up, get better with time? You, you move from, like, using Power Pole to, like, Rock, Paper, Scissor attack <laughs> to, like, learning how to blow key to, like, barely flight and then, you know, getting to the, towards his end game when you master the Kamehameha and other fight techniques from training in Kieran's tower. I think it's it's yeah. cool. I think it'd be a cool idea for a game. Uh, based on Invader, there's multiple Dragon Ball sagas you use, like him versus Raven Army, uh, the, uh, the King Piccolo arc, the, the first world tournament where you fight Jackie Chun. Uh, just the OG Dragon Ball arc when you're just finding the Dragon Balls and getting oh, yeah, chased the down first... by Yamcha. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. She's... And speaking of OG Dragon Ball, I love the English opening. I know fucking Shao Laila fans, make your dreams come true. You'll see fantasy. That is such a banger. It is great. Oh god. But that's enough gushing about it. Um but yeah, Dragon Ball the Dragon Ball Breakers. Um if you if you guys really Dragon Ball the Breakers Breakers out uh, if you guys really want another co op survival horror game with Dragon Ball flavor, I guess this is for you. The only thing it seems like again that characters may have interesting abilities in this game, but you also can do that in other games like Dead by Daylight or Evil Ash. I I feel like like this genre like it's a to me maybe it was a good idea this game came out like eight months ago, like during the height of all those games or maybe even half of last year. But now I just scratch my head like I guess it's okay. <laughs> like I don't know. But what... you can't shake your butt at the big villains. That's true. True. You can't. You can't. Sh yeah. Buns are for fun. So <laughs> I'm like, if this game comes out with a lower price tag, let's say it's like thirty nine ninety nine, or somehow hell twenty nine ninety nine, I'll probably give it a try. But I, I really don't have kind of interest in it because I don't know what can they do to innovate the space. It's like the opposite of how I guess you and I feel about Dragon uh, Dragon Quest uh, spinoff games. Uh, right, Scott? Yeah, you can never go wrong with Dragon Quest spinoffs. <laughs> right, because Dragon Quest spinoffs like take the spinoff and perfect it. Like I cannot talk highly about Dragon Quest Warriors and Dragon Quest Joker, which is Dragon Quest, which is a Pokemon game. Dragon Quest Rocket Slime, which is just a standard auto turn strategy game, but it's really good. Please, please relaunch that game on another platform. Uh, sorry, yes, I, I would. <laughs> yes, please, like, please. But it's like. So it's like, I guess it feels like it's like quality for something. I mean, like I said, we look at the trailer, you can see the Hammock reviving, you see interesting techniques, but I guess that's, I guess that's not it for me. Maybe, maybe they'll launch another trailer that will add more to it. Maybe they'll show you, like, you playing the villain, that'd be kind of cool. I mean, who wouldn't play Lord Frieza and blow the planet and win the game, you know? <laughs> I did play the beta of this game in the, it was like, February of this year. Wow, and you can cool. play the villains, which oh, honestly, this game is, or when I played it, at least, it was very skewed towards villains. I was able to kill like everyone just as Bug Cell, not even his imperfect form, just literally him and his Bug Larva. Oh, that's <laughs> hard. Well, they might have to do some tweaking for that. But they definitely need to do some tweaking for balances, which I'm hoping they do. Yeah, it's crazy. Basically, being a villain was just like a power fantasy, which to be fair, it should kind of feel that way. But at the same time, it just felt unfair, even as the villain. Yeah. That gives me vibes of like how people felt about a, an old game that helped throw up, like I guess the grandfather genre, the evolve, like evolve. Some of the monsters are just so powerful, like you just beat any hunter. It was just crazy. But uh, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it for I guess all this. If you guys are looking for Dragon Ball the Breakers, let us know what you're looking forward to, why you're looking forward to it. Do you feel the the co-op survival horror game multiplayer is feels saturated? And they, and what are your favorite ones of it? Let us know in the comments below. Yep. 
And with that out the way, remember always remember to subscribe, hit the bell as well, and stay hydrated. And follow us on our social media links below. Because we have our Twitter, YouTube, and Twitch pages and in the little link tree. Be hit myself, Gatilius, or Sub Scott. With that, I'll see you we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.